What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, we're going to check out The Undertaker's funniest and worst WWE fails. This should be interesting. We all know The Undertaker. He was the locker room leader, man, back in the day, back in that early Attitude Era. And pretty much any time he was around, he was the, the locker room leader. Everyone looked up to, inspired to be like The Undertaker when it came to just in-ring in -ring work and how he carried himself. So it's rare that he has his little slip-ups and moments or whatnot. So we're going to check it out because I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting and funny to watch. Appreciate all the love and support. I wrote to 60k and let's get right into it. Now come on, let's be fair. The Undertaker is one of the greatest superstars to ever lace up a pair of wrestling this boots. Is facts. He spent 30 years in the WWE as the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Lord of the Darkness, and in turn became one of the most successful characters of all time. Mm -hmm. Although The Undertaker has been praised endlessly for his character work and match quality, even The Undertaker is prone to be involved in a fail from time to time. <laughs> well, which teams were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at the most memorable Undertaker fails of all time. <laughs> subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. That's and funny. follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Uh, get, get this hood off. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to uh, WrestleMania. Number 10, The Undertaker drops Al Phillips right on his head. And The Undertaker's Tombstone Pile Driver finishing move was a perfect finishing move for The Undertaker, and he was the guy that made the move famous. Yep. However, when he started doing the move, there were a Got hit with an ad, y'all. So now we're able to still connect with our community. We can still support our instructors. A few times where he would mishandle the superstar and drop oh. them right on their head, being a little bit too stiff with the spike. This was the case in late 1991 when The Undertaker had a match with Al Phillips on Superstars. Taker executed a tombstone pile driver but managed to spike Phillips right on oh, his head. Oh no! The impact was so severe that Phillips' back appeared to have spasmed. And there was deep concern for his welfare, especially from Vince McMahon on commentary who let out an audible curse word following the move. It seems that Phillips was okay though after the match. Holy Number 9, shit. welcome to Wrestle Tool. Like the 16 that come before you at Wrestle Tool at WrestleMania 25. <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, his classic match at WrestleMania at Wrestle 25, Tool. consisted of a number of notable segments. However, there was a promo exchange between the two <laughs> legends Wrestle that unfortunately Tool. resulted in a number of hilarious mistakes. The Undertaker's promo ability has never been discussed in depth over the years. However, for the majority of his career, he has cut promos as a dead man persona. Yep. This naturally means he has a different promo style compared to most superstars on the roster. Now, for this specific promo, the material was quite simple, but The Undertaker would stutter on a number of words and was unable to say WrestleMania. Instead, he said Wrestle Tool, <laughs> quite a humorous slip up for the former <laughs> WWE champion. <laughs> Number eight, The Undertaker doesn't know what date WrestleMania 28 is. The Undertaker not being able to pronounce WrestleMania wasn't the last time that he would flub up a promo segment with HBK. Three years later, during the build to The Undertaker vs. Triple H's Hell in a Selling that was a WrestleMania fantastic 28, match too. The Undertaker would inform HBK in a promo that on April 21st, their destiny will happen. And on April 21st, that destiny now the problem was that the undertaker got the date wrong for wrestlemania in fact wrestlemania was set to take place on april 1st so the <laughs> dead man just clearly got his dates mixed up <laughs> maybe it was in april fools number seven the undertaker punches nobody during the attitude era and the ruthless aggression era it was common practice for superstars to have fun with the crowd this ranged from fun and engaging matches to extended promo segments which involved superstars breaking character. Mm -hmm. Now, without a doubt, the most famous of these was the time Booker T attempted to get The Undertaker to perform yeah. a spin a Rooney yeah. after Raw. That was this was the hilarious cool. segment which even involved Vince McMahon attempting the move. And he didn't do too badly. <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this segment also featured a fail which involved The Undertaker punching thin air. The villainous group known as the Un-Americans interrupted the segment before the baby faces in the ring took them out. The segment were cut to The Undertaker punching an individual through the ring ropes, but it actually looked like there was nobody there, meaning Taker was just punching thin air. Or maybe he was hitting John Cena, who knows. <laughs> the Undertaker's attire malfunction. And the Undertaker wore an iconic hat as part of his entrance for the majority of his I run as the dead man. 
However, there was a short period where the Undertaker would ditch the hat in favor of a hooded trench coat. Yep. This alternative entrance attire for the dead man would make an appearance at the Raw 1000th show and would stand side by side with his brother Kane and the duo would fight a number of heels together. And although the segment was a lot of fun, it did feature a somewhat hilarious attire malfunction for the Undertaker. When Taker went to flick his hood off during his entrance, his hood decided to remain stuck on his head, meaning he had to awkwardly mess around with the hood to try and get it off. Number 5, <laughs> The Undertaker misses a big boot on John Cena. A WrestleMania 34 would act as the redemption match for The Undertaker, as the year prior he was supposed to wrestle his last match ever. Mm -hmm. However, the match with Roman Reigns wasn't up to the quality that fans and Taker himself yeah. wanted. And this led to The Undertaker coming out of retirement for a high profile match with John Cena. The match itself was a squash match and was yeah. done to show fans that the Taker still had it in him. And although the match was only 3 minutes in length, this didn't mean that the match was absent from any fails. As Taker would go for a trademark big boot on Cena, he didn't come close to hitting it and missed Cena's face by a good mile. <laughs> Cena sold a big boot anyway and the Undertaker quickly realized that the fail could have altered the perception of the match, so he quickly transitioned into the next spot. Thankfully for Taker, fans quickly forgot about the aforementioned <laughs> fail as the match was pretty crap. Yeah, the match wasn't that Number good. Four, the Undertaker's bike stools. In the year 2000, I think the Undertaker I made the segment. biggest risk of his career. He decided to drop the dead man persona in favor of the American badass character. Mm -hmm. This character would cut back on the darker elements of the prior persona and he would be a much more accessible character for the audience. Yep. The risk paid off and the character was widely popular. His American badass gimmick actually worked. It, it legitimately worked. You still had the Undertaker feel, but he he talked more. He was more aggressive. He lit you know, he come off as a badass, legitimately. With fans of all ages, and it was so popular that Taker decided to bring the character back for his final match with AJ Styles Which was at WrestleMania good. 36. One of the things that made the character so special was that he would ride to the ring on a motorcycle. But this didn't always go smoothly. Take for instance the Vengeance pay-per-view in 2003. Taker was set to face John Cena and unfortunately his bike stalled, meaning he had to awkwardly get off his bike and walk to the ring. It was hilarious, but no doubt embarrassing for Taker. Number 3, The Undertaker <laughs> drops Goldberg on his head. Yep. A considered to be a dream match to many WWE uh, fans, this Goldberg match and The here. Undertaker collided in 2019, it was a long time coming. Awful. However, the match was a complete disaster and is Awful. now cited as the worst match of both superstars' respective careers. Facts. There were a number of rather unfortunate mistakes in the match, including Goldberg dropping the dead man right on his head following a jackhammer. However, this wasn't the only time that the two men were dropped right on their head. When Taker went for a tombstone on Goldberg, he somehow dropped the former world champion oh! right on his head. Luckily, Goldberg didn't appear to be hurt from the spot, but a near 300 pound man being oh, dropped on his my head God. had fatal consequences. Yeah, this awful match it's just like wow that was really close to being catastrophic number two the undertaker versus roman reigns is wrestlemania 33 main event now as we've already mentioned in this video the undertaker's match with roman reigns at wrestlemania 33 was initially intended to be taker's last match ever yeah sadly the match fell apart and it featured a version of the undertaker that simply couldn't hang with reigns yeah as a result there were a number of notable mistakes in the match and one that fans infamously remember yeah. relates to when reigns was supposed to counter a tombstone attempt from the undertaker in his own version oh of the tombstone God. sadly oh. though taker was far too exhausted to do this and he was unable to flip himself in order for reigns to easily lift him into position Oh. After a number of attempts, the spot was completely abandoned Bandit. and the two oh. men quickly improvised and transitioned into the next planned spot in the match. And number one, The Undertaker's dive at WrestleMania 25. Oh, Considered man. by many to be the greatest WrestleMania one match of the all time, facts. the showdown between The Fantastic Undertaker match. and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania Fantastic 25 match. was epic in every sense of the word. Now, although the match quality was undeniable, it did feature a mistake that could have resulted in a serious yeah. injury to the dead man. The Undertaker went for a dive yep. to the outside, and the planned spot was to have him involve the cameraman capturing him so that Taker would have a safe and secure landing. However, the cameraman failed to catch The Undertaker, meaning he nearly landed on his head. Oh, crazy spot. I watched this live. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. He was incredibly fortunate that Taker didn't suffer some kind of serious head or neck injury. But according to Taker, the referee was directed to call the match as a shoot. Meaning if Taker failed to get in the ring following the mistake, he would have been counted out and HBK would have broken the streak by a count. Wow, that's, they have it, that's, that's interesting. I didn't know funny. that. Did not know that, man. Wow, that's crazy.
that was still one of the best matches of WrestleMania history of all time. Definitely one of the best matches, man. But comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. What other WrestleMania and other wrestling content you want me to check out? Link it down below in the comment section. Appreciate all love and support. Roll to CCK. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.